name is Jessica Christie and I graduated from Memphis High School in 2016 and I'm excited to share with you guys a little bit about my college experience and hopefully provide some insight and advice for how to go about uh, pursuing post-secondary education. I did the Blue Water Middle College program, so I started taking college classes in my junior year of high school, and then for a full year after my high school graduation, I was taking college classes at St. Clair County Community College. And then I moved on to Oakland University, which is a four-year university in Rochester Hills. From there at Oakland, I worked on my bachelor's degree, which was started off in health sciences, but then I moved to exercise science with a concentration in pre-physical therapy. And I am now currently in my first year of my doctoral program of physical therapy. So I kind of always knew that I was gonna be going to college from a pretty young age, just because of the nature of what I wanted to do. There, really, well, there wasn't really a time specifically where I was like, hey, I'm gonna to need to go to college. It was kind of just something that in the back of my mind I knew I was gonna to need to do. I knew high school wasn't gonna be the end of my formal education. My senior year of high school, I was kind of on the fence about teaching just because I had had family members and even some teachers kind of telling me some things about teaching that I wasn't a huge fan of. Um, and so I was kind of like iffy on it. Um, and I ultimately had a career day where one of the high school teacher's husbands came in who was a physical therapist and they gave their spiel and it was just something that really interested me. I had never really explored the field before and I knew that I liked anatomy and health and things like that, but I wasn't really interested in nursing or anything like that because I don't really love bodily fluids. So I thought PT would be kind of cool because it's kind of a happy medium because in PT a lot of what we do is educating our patients and their family on how to recover from an injury or some sort of pathology that they're experiencing. So I thought it was a nice happy medium for me and I really liked the idea of it. I didn't really have the family support to help me with this for a number of reasons, one of which was just simply that my family had not pursued higher education. So I was the first to be doing this, so I didn't really have any guidance from my family. Most of what I did was on my own research, just using the internet, you know, Googling things, going on college websites and looking into the programs that they had and what the process was for applying. And I also used advisors quite a bit. So through the Blue Water Middle College program, sitting down with me and going through what we needed to do once I made that change to PT helping me find schools that had the program and figuring out what kind of classes I would need to get myself ready for that while I was doing my associates. So really just getting yourself acclimated with it early is really important so that you're not overwhelmed when it comes to time to actually apply. I noticed in my research that I was doing on colleges early on that Oakland University had a opportunity for a full tuition scholarship. I met the GPA requirements, my ACT was not quite there. So I retook the ACT and I got the score that I needed to get that full tuition scholarship. So that was a huge thing for me for choosing OU is that I really wanted to minimize my debt, especially once I chose PT, I knew I was gonna need to do a lot of schooling and a lot of you know post, even past my bachelor's degree. So I wanted to make sure that I was minimizing the debt early on so that I wouldn't be as you know drowning in debt later on. <laughs> we're given the uh, impression that we need to know what we're going to do before we get to college. That is not the case. I knew what I wanted to do. That is not always the case. It's perfectly fine to get to college and have an undecided major. That is much more common than we are told and it's much more common than we are aware. It's not that big of a deal if it takes you more than four years to get through that degree. So don't let your indecisiveness about what you want to do with your future deter you from going to college. Get your gen eds going and then you'll find what you're passionate about through those classes and through meeting professors and through talking to other students and hearing about what they're studying. So going to events on campus and just really learning about yourself. So just know that it's okay to be undecided and not know what you're going for by the time you enroll in college. What I think is more important about the college experience is just the experience as a whole. You're learning in your classes, yes, and you're improving your knowledge on whatever subjects you're studying, and that's great. But more importantly, you're learning a lot about yourself. You're learning a lot about the world around you, about the people, about the different types of people that you're gonna meet and interact with throughout your life. And it's really more of a personal growth thing for me that's more important than even the knowledge that I'm gaining through my classes. I would say that if you're thinking, you know, I wanna go to college, but I just don't have 
I just, I just can't because I have, you know, X, Y, and Z. Try not to think of it like that. Try to think of the fact that it is definitely possible. If you are motivated and if you're passionate about your career, you should go for it. Um, don't let those things hold you back because if you use your resources right, you can absolutely do it.